Hey guys, you know something? Often we get so busy in our day-to-day -day lives that we forget to prioritize our health. But it's time that we start taking care of our physical and mental well-being. And this is why I'm going to show you some amazing power yoga poses that you can practice easily at home. So let's start with power yoga. Our first asana is Utkatasana, the chair pose. This pose strengthens and tones the thighs, glutes, ankle and knees. It also strengthens your core and improves your balance. Now how to do this pose? Stand with your feet hip width apart. Shoulders roll back and spine long. Abdomen pulled in and gaze at eye level at a point ahead of you. Inhaling. Raise your arms to the front with palms facing downward. Do not bend your elbows. Exhaling, bend your knees and gently push your pelvis down as if you're sitting in an imaginary chair. Keep thighs as parallel to the floor as possible. Make sure your knees stay in line with the toes and do not go beyond. Keep the spine at a slight incline but straight. Also, be mindful that your hands are still parallel to the ground. Stay in this pose for 20 seconds with normal breathing. To come out of the pose, inhaling rise and exhaling, bring the arms down. Do this pose two times. However, avoid this pose if you are having lower back pain, knee injury, arthritis, ankle injury or sprain. Now after Utkatasana, let's talk about another important asana called Paripurna Navasana or the Boat Pose. This pose strengthens your abdomen immensely and improves your digestion. It also stimulates your intestines, improving their function as well as improves your balance and mental focus. Now how to do this pose? Sit with your knees bent and feet flat on the mat. Both are kept together. Lean back slightly and grab hold of the back of your thighs. Exhaling, lean further back. Pull your abdomen in and open your chest. Then lift your feet off the floor. Initially keep your lower legs parallel to the floor. Now let go of your thighs and reach your hands forward at shoulder level. Continue to elongate your back, chest lifted, abs in and gaze diagonally up. If you feel the mobility and control, straighten your legs. Hold the pose steadily for 10 seconds to begin with. Breathe normally. For people who find it difficult to balance or keep their spine straight in the final pose, you can instead bend at the knees and keep your lower legs parallel to the floor. A straight back is more important than straight legs in boat pose. To come out of the pose, exhaling, bring your feet down and sit with a straight spine, holding onto your legs for a couple of breaths. Practice this pose two times. With consistency, increase your posture hold up to one minute. Now, boat pose creates pressure in the abdomen. So it may not be suitable if you have abdominal issues such as ulcers, diarrhea, hernia or menstrual pain in women. Even during pregnancy, it must be avoided and also by people who have sciatica and slip disc. Time for a third and last pose called Ushtrasana or the camel pose. This pose reduces constipation, back pain and improves one's posture by correcting drooping shoulders and rounded back. It also improves one's breathing by opening up the chest. Hence, it's very good for asthmatics. It influences a woman's ovaries, thyroid and other glands, thereby improving their function. Now, how to do this pose? Kneel on the yoga mat with your knees slightly apart. Keep hands on your hips. Your knees should be in line with the shoulders and the heels of your feet should be facing the ceiling. Now, place both the palms at the lower back in a way that fingers are pointing downward. Keep the abdomen gently pulled in. Inhaling, press your palms firmly against your back, giving a slight push to your pelvis forward. Simultaneously, arch your spine, throw your neck back, feel the ribs raised up 
and the abdomen being stretched. Exhaling, move your hands down one by one, right hand holding the right ankle and left hand holding the left ankle. Ensure that your thighs stay perpendicular and in line with your knees as much as possible. Stay in this posture for 10 to 12 seconds. Exhaling, slowly come back to the starting pose and bring your hands back to your hips as you straighten up. Practice this pose two times. Avoid this pose in cases of knee injuries, arthritis, neck and back injuries. So guys, don't forget to practice power yoga asanas to improve your stamina, flexibility and stability. And remember to listen to your body throughout the practice. If any pose causes pain or discomfort, it's always okay to modify or stop it altogether. The key is to find what works for you and your body. Make sure to consult a medical practitioner before you try this at home to know what is right for you. Do share your thoughts and keep watching this space for more such content.